It seemed like any other morning, but on February 28, 2001, at 10.54 a.m., a tremor began to shake Seattle. Fortunately, when it was over, there was just one death indirectly attributed to the quake. Only a few were seriously injured. The city itself escaped major destruction. Scientists know that the 2001 earthquake was caused by a rupture in the Earth's crust. But there's another, more dangerous fault line running right beneath the city's streets. We have a big fault that runs right underneath downtown Seattle. And we know it's there, and we know it's active. The giant masses of rock that meet at the fault are unstable. They're prone to sudden and violent shifts that cause earthquakes. To help the city prepare for the inevitable, scientists want to know more. So in 1998, they began an ambitious project to literally test the ground underneath the city and estimate how it would shake in a real earthquake. We towed behind the R.B. Thompson, our research vessel at the University of Washington, an array of what we call air guns, sending out a sound source, pinging, letting it bounce down and come back up. The scientists shot off strong sound waves into the waters of the Puget Sound adjoining Seattle, using ground motion detectors called seismometers to gauge the effects. By measuring how the waves moved through Seattle's Earth, the scientists developed a picture of what Seattle looks like below ground. So as the sound waves go down and it hits a different density of rock, we can kind of uh, model what the rocks are like beneath the surface. Seattle is sitting on top of a bowl of loose sediment, the type of ground that would actually amplify earthquakes. The scenario itself is pretty grim. If, if you were to have a large earthquake on the Seattle Fault, for example, the first thing would be probably widespread destruction just from the earthquake itself. And because the fault runs below the Puget Sound, it could also create the large destructive tidal waves known as tsunamis. I know that an earthquake and a tsunami is going to happen here in Puget Sound. Uh, it could happen tomorrow. It, it may not happen for a thousand years. Given that, I add up the risks of living here versus the benefits of living here. And uh, I like living here a lot, so I make a decision to continue living here. Despite their best efforts, scientists can't offer a firm prediction when the next earthquake will happen. Only the certainty that it will. Let's go.